I want to talk now about um, another facet of live tournaments that's um, different from uh, online tournaments for the most part and, and different from tournament tradition as many people know it. Um, is, and then that's the aspect of re-entries. Many live tournaments now are allowing you to re-enter, especially uh, in Vegas. This is happening at Venetian, at Bellagio, all the uh, at Caesars Palace, all the regular series that they run every month um, allows you to buy in. And if you bust, you can just go buy in again. And it's not rebuys that's different because rebuys happen at the same table and you can just keep doing them over and over and over, um, even if you're like below starting stack. It's very different. You have to have busted and they will redraw you a new seat at a different table. I'm pretty sure that the policy is they won't give you the same seat again that you just busted from, um, but I'm not entirely certain of that. But re-entries actually do um, affect some some important things. What they do is is they make bloated prizes out of small fields, uh, bloated prize pools out of small fields. So you can play a tournament that's only going to get like 150 players, but will actually have like 300 entries, which is a really big difference uh, because. The more people who play, obviously the softer the field is because there's a limited supply of good players um, and the bigger the payouts are and so on and therefore the better your ROI is and so on and so forth. Um, so re-entry tournaments are the ones that you really want to look for. There's better value in re-entries than anything else. Um, and that's not because it gives you more freedom to play differently because of the fact that you can re-enter. It's the fact that People who are re-entering are typically playing pretty badly, and there are many of them about for the most part. Uh, and it also allows you to um, be playing a tournament at like a, a kind of a rinky-dink small place and still actually end up having some value in the prize pool. Re-entries do influence the um, play that goes on in the early stages, uh, and it's important to know that. For the most part... The, the ability to re-enter should not influence your play, except when somehow you've whittled down to a very small stack uh, kind of early on. You should be willing to gamble quite a bit more because the opportunity to re-enter the tournament with a full buy-in uh, actually makes a really big difference. So if I somehow in the first like two or three levels get down below like 15 big blinds, then I'm going to play that stack quite a bit more aggressively and for much thinner value or, or more gamble uh, than I would if I couldn't re-enter, um, obviously. Uh, and, and that's that's assuming that if I bust, I'm not going to do anything profitable for the rest of the day, um, of course. But yeah, the opportunity to re-enter forces you to um, play a little bit more aggressively when you haven't got many chips left and it's still early in the tournament because then rebuying it, it, it has like a lot of value. I would rather actually potentially bust the eight big blinds that I've got left at like second level of a tournament um, and then re-enter that tournament for a better uh, better investment than uh, to just grind my eight big blind stack while there's no antis and just, you know, hope for the best. Um, the fact that there are re-entries does make the play in big pots um, quite a bit looser for the most part. Um, you can kind of tell whether someone is the type of person who will be expecting to re-enter quite a bit and is just happy to do that and so therefore is willing to gamble uh, or whether they are not. And so use your best judgment on a player-by-player -player basis, but know that it definitely does make the big pot play in the early stages um, looser because people know that they can re-enter. Uh, and that occurs both on the aggressive and passive sides of the play. So people will bluff more when they know that even if they bluff off all their chips, they can just re-enter the tournament. And people will bluff catch more uh, when they know that you might be thinking you can just bluff off all your chips and re-enter in the tournament anyway. Um, so know that you will get called more um, and you will find people playing more aggressively, uh, like free betting all in or, or triple barreling all in or whatever, um, a, a little bit on average, given that there are re-entries in the tournament. So what you need to do is adjust generally, um, make sure all of your plays are influenced by the fact that there are re-entries in the tournament, but know that it's a minor adjustment, okay? You don't want to over-adjust really extremely. Let, let, me, let me give a, um, an example. Like, if you're just calling everyone down all the time with almost anything because it's a re-entry, so you think they're just bluffing all the time, that's not going to work out very well for you because, one, it's just not true. They're not really bluffing off all their chips and trying to re-enter very often. It's not like a a, uh, a $3 rebuy online or something like that where people are frequently just all in with nothing over and over and over hoping to get a big stack. It's really not like that at all. It's a it's very, very small percentage in that direction. Um, but adjust your play for the table that you're at. Uh, if the table seems to be going with the fact that there are re-entries uh, and using that to gamble and play more aggressively, um, especially if it's a topic of conversation, then obviously you're going to want to um, 
avoid making mistakes uh, where you're giving people too much credit because they you know, frequently don't have much and, and you don't want to misvalue or um, uh, fold a hand incorrectly in those kind of spots.